Right, starting this again, you're not getting a story time today, you might get this a little bit tomorrow. Admittedly. It's my birthday. I like drinking, I'm drinking. So I thought I'd try and review what I've drunk. And I started off with a poacher's choice bottled. I've never had it in the pint form and if someone was to ask me what was my favourite pint, I couldn't say poacher's choice, but if someone asked me what was my favourite beer, it would always be poacher's choice. So there you are, poacher's choice is my favourite beverage ever. And someone who I know very well chose to buy it for me for my birthday. That was my mother. She gave a woohoo later, I'll edit that in. <laughs> So yeah, I'm about to watch my favourite film ever with my mother. So I thought I'd give a rundown of what beers I've had today. I've had, I started with The Poacher's Choice and I moved on. I had to go do a thing then I came back and went to the beer in Bedford and I had an IPA which is just an IPA, Green King's IPA and then I moved on to the Three Cups in Bedford which I started with a variety and like Green, uh, the three cups in Bedford is quite interesting. It allows you to have three pints of three thirds of a pint from different barrels. You get to try a variety of real ales, and it's quite nice. I had three pints there, and I tried seven different things. I finished on a Guinness, which was a little bit old. It definitely been sitting in the cellar for at least a month, and then been on the actual tap for a couple of days it was no okay and then I let's just double back on myself I had a what did I have Abbott Ale Abbott Ale can't complain it's Berry St Edmunds fairly local and then I'm then before that I had an old speckle hen which you if you like your real else you tried an old speckle hen I think and then before that I tried a Twist Mellow, which is okay, it has an aniseedy sort of taste, kind of tastes like medicine, I don't complain about the taste, I would probably have a pint of it if I had a meal to go with it, but I don't think I could have a whole pint by itself. And then prior to that I had a Kelly Stout, which was... It was okay, it was everything you could wish for from a stout, but it just wasn't good, it wasn't outstanding, you know, if you, if you had to describe to a person what a stout was, a person who'd never tasted a stout before in their life, and you could easily say it was Kelly Stout. It kind of tasted like something you could buy as a brew. A, it tasted like something you could brew yourself from buying a packet from Wilkinson's. Prior to that, what did I have? Stumped. It was named cricket orientated. That was quite nice. A little bit citrusy, not fantastic. I don't think I had any pint that was absolutely fantastic. It's set for poacher's choice, of course. And when I remember what the other third of a pint I had was, I'll get back to you. Till then, I'm going to go and watch Repo, the genetic opera with my mother and probably my doggy on my lap. And I'm going to be drinking Bitter and Twisted. Uh, very interesting for a blonde beard. Bit. It's a blonde beer, but it is very, very fucking tasty. So if you're interested in real ale, definitely try it out. And Daddy, I'm sorry. I said it was a squirrel on the front, is it it isn't actually a mouse like you said. So Tara Yeah, seriously. That's all you're fucking getting today. It's my birthday, I get a day off. You'll have story time next week properly.
Till then, like, subscribe, get pissed, get fucking laid.